Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Talk of the Town. Tonight we have, as usual, a, uh, an excellent panel. On my right we have uh, Mayor Robinson, the man who drives the ship of state very well in the city of Bowie, and so far the ship is not sinking, it's riding very well on the waves, on the surface. And on my immediate right is Len Lucci, a major partner with I think it's now it was O'Malley and Miles and Lucci. I think now it's Lucci, O'Malley and Miles. <laughs> and he is uh, also the representative of the city of Bowie during the legislative process. The mayor needs to know what's going on in Annapolis. He sends Len down there. Len tells the mayor and the people can sleep well at night here in Bowie from that information on my left. Another lawyer, but a lawyer who has a fix on what she does. Wills and estates, if there's anything in your background and anything in your family history that you need a lawyer who can help you with your estate or through will, see Lynn Skirpon. A, an advisor, she does this as an aside to the control of the state of Maryland, as well as being former register of wills. So we, we really have a, a class panel, and uh, I think with so after in, we don't have anything to talk about. I, well, after interruptions, I was thinking we want to just shut it down. That was good <laughs> enough. We need we a grandchild some, report over yeah, here. Oh, that's latest. true. <laughs> that's true. What about the report that came out today that has uh, O'Malley five points up over Ehrlich, and that's changed. It was nine, it was seven, now it's five. What do you think? What do you I, think, Fred? I think, I think it's a good call. The one that came out from the Washington Post a week or so ago that had 11 points, I think there was some, I, I think there was some flaws in that one. But I think this one is a fairly good representation of what's out there. And uh, from what I gather from other polling people, I think 5 6% uh, lead is, is about what it is. Well, and yeah. All three polls have the, pretty much the same internals, which show that Montgomery County, Ehrlich's not getting anywhere near the amount of support that he counted on. And in Baltimore County, although he's leading, it's nothing near the way it was in 2002. It looks much more like 2006. So whether it's 5 or 11, the thing is the foundation for an Ehrlich victory uh, is just not there. Mm -hmm. Lynn? I'm a little, I feel a little differently than they do. I think it's all going to depend on turnout. Uh, I think the turnout in Prince George's County and Baltimore City, which, er, which uh, the governor, Governor O'Malley, needs badly, is not going to materialize. We have very few contested elections left in Prince George's and in the city of Baltimore, and I think it's going to be neck and neck when the day comes. It was a, uh, a low turnout this time in the primary, and uh, that doesn't bode well for O'Malley. He did very well in Prince George's last time out, and it looks to me, and I think I kind of agree with you on the Prince George's County, he's counting on Prince George's and Montgomery. That'll, that's really going to be his base. And uh, he really needs a turnout. You know, I'm not sure that uh, that Ehrlich has his base is great in Baltimore City, but you go on the Eastern Shore and you go some of the fringe yeah, but places. But the reality is, if, if, you, if you total Missouri, up all of the counties on the uh, eastern shore, yeah, it's not you know, it doesn't match either Montgomery or Prince sure. George's or Baltimore. Sure. But I do think he's going to carry Baltimore County big. Uh, and he, Ehrlich. 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 Yeah. I'm not and, so uh, sure. You Anne know, Arundel and... Uh, he, he, may, he may eke out <clears throat> Baltimore County, but I'm not sure it's going to be big. Uh, you know, there's still a, an interesting registration battle up there and you know there's not a lot of a large not a lot of elected republicans up there Ann arundel has a weird dynamic this year mm -hmm. normally that does go overwhelmingly republican but you have this ballot initiative there on the uh, casino oh, at yeah, the mall that's right. and um uh, uh leopold is in favor of that and the democrats are against that but there are a lot of fundamental conservative republicans who are against the casino and so that may be some kind of a a switcher in terms yeah. of the votes there, especially in the county executive race where the, the uh, Democrat is, is against the casino at the mall and the, and the Republican incumbents for it. Some Republicans might be able to shift because of that, that's, that question. That, that's an interesting question, but the 
the overall, the, the citizens that occupy Anne Arundel County, 71% are for the casino at that mall, at the Anne Arundel well, you know, County Mall. I, I, and they sure. look at the, uh, the possibility that they would bring in for the uh, county and the state about a half a million dollars. If half they a get, million dollars. Well, if, if, to if, the state. To yeah. the state, yeah, mm -hmm. if they, over yeah. a period of time. Yeah. 4,752 slot machines will bring in a lot of money. No, and sure the that. people want it, so yeah. well, you it's, it's, it, I mean, But it's the same argument that's, uh, that's followed the gambling initiative for a generation. You know? Some people want it, some people don't want it, and there's an awful lot of people in the middle that are agnostic about it. And it depends on, entirely on who comes out to vote. But it's an amazing phenomenon, $6 million being spent just in that one county on this one question. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's that's right. a real saturation. Yeah, the companies that are pushing for it, mm -hmm. oh, they are pushing a lot of money into it. Okay, so the governor seems to be all right. With uh, President Obama, Governor O'Malley, with President o o Obama out in the Hastings now, and he's bringing Michelle Obama out, you think that'll help in states like Ohio, Indiana, and through the Middle West? It, I don't think it, it, it won't help in Ohio or Indiana, but it will help in Washington and California. That, um, uh, boxers' numbers today in California, I think, shoot back up to about four uh, percent, and and I think there's a there's a growing speculation that that may trend. Patty Murray in uh, Washington. Uh, is being hurt badly by advertisements about the health health injury. and nothing. And the, the letter that Boeing sent out to 90,000 of its employees today, that told them that they they were kicking them off their health insurance or all their rates were going to go up by 40 percent, is not going to help the person who said I authored the bill. It's interesting about the Washington. But Obama race, could help her if the um, if the Republicans are looking. They're looking at Washington as the 10th senator they can get. I don't they think have to, I don't, they're the, going to lose. The, the Republicans there. have to pick up both California. Oh, yeah. Well, and maybe Washington. they have to get one of those two yeah. to have a chance. And sure. And then I, I, th I, th I think Boxer, Boxer holds on in California. So that's two. Right they, now, Murray looks like she might be able to hold on. But so best they got eight of the that'll ten be they the, need. Uh, that'll be the test because you're going to have Obama out there who can help her in Washington. Sure. But there are so many people affected by the health care and the cost of that that I think that mix is just so if volatile. If anybody would read what know. the Washington Post did today on the health care, if the people, and I know they're not going to read it, but it was there, and, and, and all the color and all the answers and questions that people mm -hmm. have, and if they read it, they would understand that some of the Republican, I hate to use the term, well, some of the Republican scare tactics against the health care Forget plan. the scare tactics well, for a minute. The minute. scare tactics are no. absolutely wrong, and they're lying no, but, about uh, but, the you, thing. You may be absolutely right of it. But, they are. But if you look at Connecticut, and if you look at Washington, and if you look at uh, you know the Midwest, <clears throat> All these people are getting their bills from their insurance company, and they're all going up. McDonald's told 50,000 of its employees that they were going to cut, throw them off. Who's the pushing that up? McDonald's. The private sector yeah. insurance business companies. Yeah. Sure, you pay right. your life insurance yeah. company. Well, if you, if you raise the cost of providing care, you're going to raise the cost of the premium. Our, our rates are going up before this bill passed, yeah. sure. 14% a year. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But th with this it, bill, it's going to stop that. And if the people would look at the mm -hmm. bill... They can see the positive parts of it are very important to mm -hmm. this country. It take a while for the kick in. You look at the the winning parts of it are uh, 2014 when they start to make sense, mm -hmm. or they start to hit the individual. But right now, the uh, the scare tactics and the know nothings who the Republicans have been within the last couple of years. Well, they, if they say no to everything, any legislative opportunity that is put on the table, their answer is no. You know, and then what we have if they take the House, which they need 39, I don't believe they're going to do it. But if they did, you got John Bonner, who has said nothing but no for the last 16 months. But he has a great tan. <laughs> and he has good fingernails. And I think he has his hair cut. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, but, you know, they... It's impossible if the people would only know, look at some of these things, and find out what's really going on. Instead, it's the old fear tactic. Oh, the sky is falling. 
And the nut jobs who are out there called the Tea Party, they listen and they <laughs> oh, gather okay. together and say, yeah. you're right, yeah. you're yeah. right, you're right, everything's no, wrong. No. I love you like a brother. <laughs> I, I think, you're, I think you're, you're on the wrong path right. here. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Lynn? Uh, you, the way this question began was what we thought about the president going out with the first lady campaigning. Yes. And I will think that help? I think her presence will help. Um, she is still wildly popular. Oh, sure. And he is not. Mm -hmm. And I think for the average person that has an opportunity to go out and hear her or see mm -hmm. her, she's like a rock star. Mm -hmm. And I think... I think she will help the popularity in some of the states Where just by bringing her. And she hasn't done it, by the way, since they campaigned for the presidency together. So they haven't been out campaigning. Where is Obama's uh, <coughs> approval rating? Where, what is it? Now? 43. 43 percent. I thought and it was Mich less than that. And Michelle's well, is in the 60s. Yeah, at least. You're right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they had one, a different index in the paper this morning. Where you take the positive, subtract the negative, oh, and you yeah. see the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which there's some basis to sure, that. Sure. And Obama's doing much better than the congressional Republicans. And yeah, it's well, all everybody's doing better than Congress. I mean. And the Republicans are doing worse than yeah. Democrats. I think predators have a higher rating than, than <laughs> Congress. Even <laughs> lobbyists. <laughs> no, let's not get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to go too far. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I mean, I remember him telling his mother that he was a piano player at a brothel because he didn't <laughs> want to tell her he was a lobbyist. <laughs> That's a much better job. <laughs> Playing the but piano. I tell you, but you know, like I say, I think the cases, the ones that I will be watching election night, absent any major change between now, Washington and California, I think those are going to be critical for whether the Democrats can hold on to some of the Senate seats. Cause so it'll be a the, long the, night, then. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah. I think the, I mean, for the Republicans to take the Senate, I mean, they've got to run the table, and I, I'm not sure I see how that happens. But I think Indiana, uh, the Republicans got a good chance. Or, well, uh, Indiana, they want. The, the race in Illinois is down to one percent, and I, you know, in a state that, you know, is the home for the president, it's the president's seat, former seat. Uh, you know, to, uh, who'd have thunk that? But uh, so I think if you watch some of those midwestern states and the West Coast, I think it's interesting. Uh, um, notwithstanding the polls in Pennsylvania, I think the, the Dems there have a have a, a challenge to get over. But I think they're going to hold a seat in Delaware. <laughs> I think so. Well, you know, when you come right out and say up front you're not a witch, I think that's important. <laughs> and I think people can understand what someone yeah. says. Well, it's sort By of the like, way, yeah. I'm not going to be your senator because I'm basically not a witch, yeah. whatever that means. And I've cast a spell over the moderator of tonight's debate. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> Uh, That's not a bad idea. Maybe how if about, we could cast a spell over all of them and they would just sit silently for two years. How about in nuts. our area? Now, firstly, let's go to the 5th District and Congressman Hoyer, the majority leader. You know, I, I believe he wins and, well, he, and he, still he, wins yeah. big. But after, if in fact, the Republicans take over the House and there's a big change in the, in the game. He becomes minority. What happens? I would think, I mean, if the, if, I would hope that the Democrats are smart enough to keep him on as minority leader. Um, I mean, here's the guy, of, of all the leadership, you know, and, and it, I, I, I say this because I have a lot of affection and admiration for, for Hoyer. He's been a great representative, <coughs> and, I, and I tell him he's my favorite congressman. But, uh, but he's the one, I think, out there that, that has the capacity to reach across the aisle. And, and although he, he's partisan in a lot of areas, he's not abrasively partisan and I, th I think he can bring people together more so than some of the others. I think he wins re-election but you know um, I'm not sure at the end of the day whether he's going to be a majority leader or, or minority leader. What do you think? Well it's either majority leader or minority whip unless Pelosi steps down um, or unless they run against each other for minority leader. Yeah well that may be yeah. and then again it may not be. Well, you know, there's a report a, circulating th today through what, the Politico or something that even if the Democrats hold on the lead, that she may not stand for re-election as a uh, speaker. But, uh, yeah. What do you think, Lynn? Oh, I think Congressman Hoyer wins easily. Sadly, I think the Democrats lose control of the House. But I think in four years, if there are enough Tea Party candidates elected, in four years, I think they'll be thrown out. The Democrats will be back in power, and then I think Hoyer becomes speaker. 